Well, I've got a measurement session coming up here in a couple of days. And what it is, it's a part that's part of this floor pan assembly. But it's this little part here in the middle. And the CAD guys gave me the full assembly just to make sure I knew what the thing looked like in the full assembly. Even though I just need this one little part. Looks like it runs fore aft in the vehicle. It's got a couple of grommets in there maybe or some seals. I don't know what that is, but I don't need that. I need to measure this part. So we're going to do some scanning on it and measure some holes. Um, so what I need to do though is clean up the CAD. So this is just a simplistic video for you guys. If you've ever been given a CAD file like this where you've got some extra things in it and you just need to clean it up a little bit just make it a little bit easier to see what's going on super easy say if I just want this part and I've got a bunch of other things in this model if I hit my space bar which turns this cursor into a little uh, little cross here and if I right click on the part that I'd like then what I can do is I can select the island so it shows that piece that I would like to uh, I'd like to take away from this CAD model. So at this point though I'm gonna hit the space bar and get out of the selection and I could do and I, I could split this model out or I could split this part out of my my floor pan model um, which is an e easy split of the CAD but what I'd like to do is instead at this point I'm gonna right click I'm gonna select the elements and I'm going to invert, which means it is going to take everything except what I've got highlight. Remember how this was all red, this little part here, this fore aft cross member, whatever part this was. Um, this was red, and then when I hit invert, everybody else uh, takes on the selection. So now I can hit the delete key. Yeah, I noticed this too before I even hit delete. All the grommets, all that stuff, these little nuggets here, these little spheres are welds. So all that stuff now is selected. So hit the delete key and everything else goes away. And then I've just got that part right there. And that's what I want to use as my measurement session. So I can start model prep from here on out. But what I'd probably want to do is change the name of floor pan here and call it the name of the part. And as I look in a little bit closer, it looks like I do have, oh no, maybe not. It looked like there was a little something going on right here. But that looks pretty clean, like it's a, uh, a part of the sheet metal. So. so I should be in good shape to start that up. But it's very easy to do the invert on the selected part of the elements here and just keep what you want to use to measure.